from zonemodders.com coming up with a tutorial today on how to put emulators on your JTAG. Um, so you're going to need to download this uh, file which is the Snares 360 emulator. I'm going to show you how to put that on your JTAG or hard drive rather than run it through XCX menu because it can be quite annoying. So the thing you're going to need is a USB flash drive um, or transfer cable but I'm going to be doing it through USB um, so we're just gonna hook up the USB just see if we've got these files on there um, what I'll do is I'll put a download link for this in there but it won't have bomber man it'll just be the files that you need and I'll put the three main emulators in here so I'll put uh, Genesis, SNES and main but you're gonna need to make a file if you're not gonna download this you're gonna need to make one called EMUS E-M-U-S go inside it and make one with the emulator name SNES360 and go in it and make one called ROMs um, we're going to put a ROM in here to show you that it works we've already got the SNES360 installed on the hard drive but I'm going to delete it and reinstall it to show you guys so the website that I used to get my ROMs from is coolrom.com it's got every ROM you can think of for every single console but it also has the PC emulators if you want to do this on the PC, just download the emulator from in there. But we're going to go to Super Nintendo for this one. And um, we're going to download anyone. We're going to download uh, Zelda. We'll just get the Zelda. Um, if you download all your ROMs from here for the SNES, it'll be an SMC file. And for the Sega Genesis, it will vary. For the MAME, it's quite difficult to know about. <laughs> what sort of um, thing you're gonna need? What sort of? It's uh, sorry. It's difficult to put the ROMs on name because sometimes it won't pick it up. But you're gonna open this folder, and as you see, it's an SMC file. You're just gonna drag it in the ROMs folder. Once you've done that, you're gonna move this folder and this folder to your USB flash drive. So we're gonna go to the USB flash drive. We've already got some ROMs on there, because like I said, um, I've already got it on there, but we're going to just delete them and drag these on. Okay, so once they're on the flash drive, that'll be it from the computer, and I'll see you at JTAG, but we're just going to show you them going on. The reason why I'm making this tutorial is because we haven't really got many tutorials on Zone Modders YouTube. Uh, I run the website, so I'll make, this, I'll make most of the tutorials. Our top staff people ha also have to sign in, like Chrome, if you've seen the modified cars. But yes, that's it from the computer, so I will see you at the JTAG. Okay guys, so here we are at the JTAG, we have our USB flash drive. So we're just going to put that in. Don't worry about that other cable, it's just a charger for my... Well, not mine, for the controller I'm using. Okay, this is actually my JTAG, so... Okay. Once you're here, you're going to want to sign in. If it prompts you for an update, whatever you do, don't do it. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see, we already have this SNES on there. So, we're going to go to our system settings, our memory, our hard drive, and games. And we're going to just delete it. So there goes the snares. Okay, I'm just swapping hands with the camera. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go to your XX menu. Gonna want to load it. Okay, once you're in here, press the right bumper, and on your F, F, 
ED07 folder, you're going to press Y and you're going to copy it. Then you're going to go to your hard drive, you're going to go to content, you're going to go to the zeros folder, and you're going to paste it in there. Let it paste. Right now, with the folder, we've already got EMUS on here, and we've got quite all three of them. We've got MAME, Genesis, and 360 on the snares, and we've got ROMs folder. And in here, we've got all the ROMs that we've already got, so I'm not actually going to delete this. I'm just going to copy the ROMs across. So we're going to go back, X, USB, go into the EMUS folder, the SNES 360, ROMs, and get the ROM and copy it. And you're going to go to hard drive, and you're going to press Y and paste it into that. But for you, you'll just paste the whole fold, the whole EMUS folder onto this. And then you're going to dashboard, okay? Once you're at the dashboard, you're just going to go to your game library, and your SNES 360 will be in there. Just going to boot it and show you the game working. It was Zelda on it, yeah. So, um, once it's booted, you'll get this screen here. Okay, now to find your ROMs, you're just going to click ROMs, obviously, and it'll come up in the corner of the device location of what you're looking at. You're looking at DVD drive at the moment, and you want to change it across, which it tells you there. Press RB to switch device. So you switch device, that's the XCX location, and this is the hard drive, and here's all your ROMs. Okay, so we're going to go down, and we're going to find Zelda, which is there, and you're just going to press A on it, and it will start the game. Nintendo presents Zelda. Okay. Press start, skip it. I'm gonna make a name. Just go A A A A. Start the game, and here you go. But with that website, you want to be a bit careful because sometimes you get some that are in Japanese. Got to make sure that the one you get is English. And that's it. That's how you put ROMs and the emulators on your JTAG. Uh, I'll put the down the link for all the emulators in the description like snares, genesis and MAME and I'll put the download link for that file with the emus and that in the description as well but as you can see the graphics on this Zelda ain't very good so we're just gonna dashboard it but the game they will run thanks for watching please rate, comment, subscribe and I shall see you in the next tutorial on how to install MAME Thanks for watching. Goodbye.